So, today's video is going to be on how to paint your whims or restore your factory Trans Am honeycomb whims. We are using this. This is uh, gold is the color of this. Here's the part number. Just in case you guys like the color enough to get it on your own. And uh, this is about 16 something a can. You can get it from Summit. It does great. So, as you can see, here's two whims already been done. They turned out great. And now I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. So stay tuned. I'm doing honeycomb whims or solid, you know, painting the whole whim. Either way, it will need to be sanded. So what we did to this whim, this is the honeycomb, we are sanding in here and we are sanding the outer edge with 400 going up to 600 to 800 and then polishing just this upper part here not down in here just this part and then uh, we will mask the top layer off and just paint the inside parts gold depending on your wheel style will depend on how you do this process but it's basically once you understand the steps works out the same okay we done did the 400 step to this and went over it with 600 we are now on 800 we are going around just the top part here with 800 once we get that we are going to use a scuffing pad or sandpaper it just depends on what you know you prefer but a scuffing pad gets in here better and scuff the insides of these they kind of a hard casting so you need to scrub them pretty good now they will have some dark places you ain't going to get that off no matter how much cleaning you do to it so just scuff on the best you can and then once you get all that scuffing done if you're doing a honeycomb whim like we are then go around here and just polish this upper part and then after that you can wax and grease remove everything so let's go to the next step once you get your wheel sanded and degreased, you can go ahead and mask it if there's anything you want masked and not painted. Now, once you get it masked, you can go ahead and take paper and uh, mask around your wheel edge. Or you can take your tires completely off. We are not painting the lip of this tire, so we can just use it as a place to lay your paper and tape it. Next step is make sure you get no overspray on your tire if your tire it's staying on the wheel. So we went ahead and masked the tire off. Now you can go ahead and shake the can and spray. You got two nozzles. One's a pinpoint nozzle and one's a steady kind of normal spray pattern. So let's go ahead and coat this wheel. Okay once you get your wheel sprayed you pretty much want to give it the proper drying time and you can do a heavy coat but I recommend a couple light coats like it says on the can but it's up to you if you put heavy coats on it you can run the paint and this paint does got metallic in it I don't know if you guys can see it but it does got metallic in it and you can make a metallic run and other stuff so it just depends on you but once it dries you can go ahead and unmask it okay this is the wheel after it's all finished it turned out great now you can get the paint the factory wheel coating at summit it's about $16.99 a can and it turned out great you do get what you pay for and this is some pretty good stuff as you can see from the video now if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like leave a comment if you want to hit that subscribe button appreciate it if you do check out wild paint shop in the description below and until the next video i'll see you then